In the meantime, please go check out everything at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, a lot of great stuff going over there, including our guests. You, you can hear the voice of Farnsworth on the shows. <laughs> and not him wooing so much. And you can see uh, Troy Lords in action, including the latest Rise Returns show up there. Uh, so go check that out. Uh, and, of course, a lot of the great stuff. Of course, a lot of the shows coming up this month, Prospect Pro Wrestling, RWA, are both going to uh, be on the network and on VOD. And, of course, some um, great stuff happening from our friends in Con- Pro Wrestling Conquest, excuse me, uh, as well. So uh, uh, go check them out. You can catch up with all of the great um, stuff going on in uh, Pro Wrestling, uh, Pittsburgh Pro Wrestling um, there. So speaking of which, Troy Lords, you're with us. You're chilling. You're, you're you're chill. You're super chill this time. I am super chill. You're extra super. I chill. I wasn't super chill last time. I don't know. I, I can't. This guy, this guy takes his pants off. He's not super chill. Well, I mean, that's a that's a that's a. What moment. could be any chiller? Not wearing pants. I, that is that is super chill. Um, I probably, mean, I think that's a good question. What could question. what could be chiller? I find out. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> see how far we go. I wasn't chill enough without pants. Let's see what else we could lose. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll, I'll remind you, we have a wide open public window here. Yeah, uh, so that means tips. That's true too. We should, yeah, we should put a little pouch out there. For put it on the glass. Little bucket. There you go. Look at it. Put it on the glass. Put it on the <laughs> That's glass. That's how we do it now. Where is Dutters? Where is Dutters? Dutters is in another <laughs> state. <laughs> so, um that's why we installed the camera on the outside uh so but anyways uh so troy uh what's been you've been involved with a lot of uh groups uh, uh um around the area a lot of stuff coming up for you um of course you you're you're of course uh still a mainstay over at rise wrestling as well right yeah i got my hands in a lot of pies and on a lot of guys i'm in a little bit of everything um in rise right now have you been to a rise show because the only People I see at the Rise show, as far as uh, Sorgatron branded, is the Sorgatron B team. The B team, and I, I tell you what, it was the B team. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. They're the B team, and I tell you what. Okay. They're starting to get to be the B plus team. They're starting to take over. They might even be an A minus team. Okay. <laughs> Rise so I don't know. I don't... rankings. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do Sorgatron media rankings. Okay. You're, you're slipping, my man. Oh, I don't know what's more important than coming and see. You got me. two. You got two of my top video guys there. You got you got somebody who's been working with me since 2012 when I started taking oh, over wrestling yeah. promotions. Mm. So I mean, I mean, you know, I can't be everywhere. There's so many, I mean, only so many me's. Mm. There maybe too many. Okay. Yeah. Again, a lot going on in Rise. I don't know if you heard a lot about it. Mm-hmm. I have an issue going on with the heavyweight title. Tag titles are stolen. I'm having an issue with a sweet, sweet baby bear cat. I don't know if you're aware of what's going on between me and Keith Hot. No, I'm not. <sighs> Keith, 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 I'm trying to help him. I'm trying to reach out, and I'm not getting anything back in return. See, Keith, he has a very promising career. Everyone knows him. Everyone loves him. He's a big hugger. He's a big sweetheart. Bright future, that kid. Bright future. Is it, though? No. Because I've seen he had a match with Tony Johnson for the Rise Grand Championship. And? And to put it nicely, he shit the bed. Mm. Yeah, he's a sweet baby bear cat. He's not an animal. He doesn't have that killer instinct. And that's what I want to give him. I just, I just, I think he's a little intimidated. I came on a little strong. He's a little worried about the relationship I want. All I want to do is be a friend. All I want to do is help him. You know, maybe give him a little bit of a killer instinct that I have. Here, so you're talking about Rise. Are you aware? We had the rankings for SmackDown. Are you aware of my rankings now for Rise? I have not seen the most recent. You haven't seen the most no, recent? No, no. Uh, well, I'll just I'll give you a little bit. I am undefeated. Undefeated. Everyone I was in the ring with since I've debuted in Rise, I have choked out. And how many title shots? Zero. It's about who you know, who you're hanging with. I don't mean, what do I got to do? What do you got to do to get a title shot, huh? And you're somebody who's who's been a contender in yeah. uh, uh, every company I've seen you at. Every contender, company. been a champion. Been yeah, a champion. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. IWC titles. In there. Yeah. Tag title. Mm-hmm. Super Indy. Uh, PDBX held titles. 
uh, Fight Society held titles, and I'm not talking about the bastardized backyard Fight Society or PWX that it is now. I'm talking about the real deal. Mm -hmm. Held a title there. I don't know if you're aware of it. I don't know if you've you've heard this before. If if anybody's told you, or maybe I mentioned it myself, that Fight Society. Do you know that I won their big title, the main belt, the main strap? I won that in a 30 minute last man standing match mm -hmm. with one arm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that before? I Barnsworth, think, are you aware? I was. I'm aware. I was I there. Think, I think I was there for that. The unbeatable champion with one arm. Mm -hmm. And exploded. Last man standing. Heavyweight champion undefeated. That was. I remember hearing um, on the podcast we were doing for the promotion at the time, like, what happened? It was your wrist, right? And and yeah, it was my wrist. Uh, took a bad landing about five minutes in. I don't know what the hell's on the screen right now, but if you can get in nice and tight, see what's going on here. What? Well, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, a little something going on here. A little something going down down here. Can't really move it. Almost yeah. got it fused. Doctor said it was like a bomb going off. There's going to be papers written about this. But still, shattered wrist. Beat the unbeatable champion, Patrick Hayes. Last man standing. Never defeated for that title. Yeah, who was that last man standing? Oh, that was me. That was you? That was me. Oh, that was me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. last man standing. Just let's point out, he may not be able to move that hand that much, but he can still ball it up into a fist. He can still ball it up into a fist, and that's all you need to do. All you need is a little fist and solve a lot of problems. Ain't that the truth? Yes, sir. Yeah, so we got a lot going on in Rise 9-11. You got to be there. Check out Rise on Facebook, Instagram. That's the next show, and I'm looking for that sweet baby Bearcat Keith Hunt, and I just can't get a hold of him. We just got this disconnection. I just want to connect. I just want to help him out. Do you do you, do you want a hug? Is that what's happening? He is the most huggable uh, in in pro wrestling. Yeah, that's his problem. He's the most huggable. How about he end up being the most winnable? How about he's known for something else but hugs? Wouldn't that be nice? Mm, hugs, money, a, titles. Wouldn't it be nice? He's a good dungeon master. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's talk about some of that lame ass dungeon manager <laughs> master stuff. That'll get you over. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Let's move from that. So Rise is a big thing in my life right now, working on that. And I know there's a lot of people that come to these rat shows. They're seeing what I'm doing, and they think that they could do what I'm doing. You know what I mean, Farnsworth? I know what you mean. I know they're looking at me. They think that they could be in that ring. They could be as good as me. They look at you. What they have there is envy. What are you telling me? Green, green, green. But there is an opportunity for anybody that thinks that they can do what I do, can think what any of the competitors do in Rise, what they do in Fight Underground, and that is to come to the Stronghold this weekend. Uniontown Mall, the Stronghold, Brandon K. There's going to be representatives from Rise. There's going to be representatives from Fight Underground. This is the new training facility here in the uh, western Pennsylvania area. I got to visit that uh, uh, about a month ago, and it's a, it's a it's one of the nicest training facilities I've seen for wrestling, and I've seen a lot of them. They're going to get you in shape. They're going to get you in the door. Um, if you want to get into into this, into this sport, this is where you got to go. There's a lot of great training facilities, but this is the one you got to be at. This is the one you got to go to, and this Sunday is your opportunity. So tell me about that pedigree there. Of course, you know, uh, a lot of different trainers. Like, what are you getting there that you're not getting a lot of other places? Well, I know Dean Rafford's going to be there. He's going to be representing the Fight Society. We've had some problems, but Dean Rafford's been all over. I mean, underground. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Fight Society. Fight Underground, yeah. Dean Rafford, he's, of course, a staple here in western Pennsylvania, but he's had a long time over on the west coast, Arizona, California, a little bit of Mexico, uh, been to Japan. He's been around forever. You're going to get a, a well-rounded training from Dean, and you're also going to have Brandon K there representing Rise. And, I mean, Brandon K has been a mainstay in this area since I late 90s at the Mm -hmm. At the earliest. And you could just look at the people that he's been around, the, the trainees that he's uh, uh, been involved with, that he's made. Uh, Lee Moriarty, mm -hmm. main event. Mm 
Mm-hmm. He laid the base work, the groundwork for them, and they took it and ran with it. So if you want to have a nice, solid, firm foundation, this is where you got to go to. This is how you get your foot in the door. You're not going straight to AEW. You're not going straight to any of these other promotions. You're going to learn from the bottom. And you're going to work yourself way up. And they're going to give you that base. They're going to give you what you need to get to the top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good stuff down there. Good facility. Um, so that's an open house this weekend. Um, that's a, and actually the stronghold Sunday. stronghold has their own Facebook page with their information on that. So go check it out. Yeah. Also linked from the Rise Wrestling page. It's Rise with a Y. Will yeah. we remember Rise Wrestling? Rise on fight the T-shirt. Underground, they'll be there. Excellent. And speaking of Fight Underground, you follow them too, right? You're you know what's going. Yeah, on. Yeah, I'm familiar. Right? I'm okay. familiar. Yeah, you're familiar, right? You saw their uh, title match at Crown to Champion? Yeah, down in North Carolina, the Rev and, uh, and the Beastman. Rev and Beastman. Have you seen how many views that's gotten? No, I haven't. 30, 40, I don't, know, I don't know how many thousands of views that this has gotten. But you know I'm in Fight Underground, right? I am aware of this. Yeah, and I know Rev is great. He's in Ring of Honor. You know, he does great carrying Shane Taylor's bags. And Beastman is all over the country. He's everywhere. But how many views... Did that match get? Have you put the hotness in there? Right? I know they had tournaments and they've had all these matches and you had the every win counts and you got to fight to get into it. And I guess you know, that's what they did. They had to earn their spot. But I guess uh, a 20 year veteran has to earn their spot. They couldn't have thrown me in. Huh? Come on now. Come on now. I don't want to give too much about Fight Underground, but I know some people. Right? And they have the, the training that's coming up this weekend that everyone wants to know when Fight Underground is going to be starting, when everyone can go underground. And I'll tell you this. I'll give you a little bit. It's coming soon. Underground is coming soon. And not just Fight Underground. i got so much going on. What else you got? Man? You didn't remind me. i got to talk about 3RW. Three, three and this is the Three Rivers Wrestling. Uh, Three Rivers Wrestling. So this is one that I, I've been seeing shared here and there, but I don't know much about this. So it is a mix. It's a mix of talent from the past. It is up-and-coming talent. And it's just a whole hodgepodge of mix of just all these personalities, all this talent from different areas, different eras coming together. And it's something you got to check out. Check out their YouTube. Every Monday they're dropping new episodes, and I wouldn't be surprised if in the distant future you start seeing some more information about maybe a possible live show. Okay. Yeah, right before right before the most recent rise, I had a uh, title match with a Mike Law. Mike Colossal Law. Mike Law. Colossal Mike Law. Big, tough, swole Mike Law. And I uh, had that match... 3RW had that right before uh, most recent rise. And I left that match with a loss. I left that match with a big, fat, black eye getting super kicked in the face. And I won Mike Law. Mike Law, I hope you're listening. My purse is real deep. And I got all my receipts in there. Mike Law, you got one coming. Yeah. You got one coming, sweetheart. We got uh, we got some comments from the chat room here. First of all, Tina out in Seattle is loving your skull ring. I think we got a nice mm. close up when we were checking out your uh, scars mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. There it is. Thank you, Tina. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, uh, hold it, up, hold up, it, hold oh, up. Oh, oh yes, go ahead. Let, let's point out matching scarf as well. well that's scar- oh, the, oh skull scarf, nice. I mean, let's just let's just go from top to bottom. Take a look. Got the hair on the you, way you I know, like it. We, you got the glasses. Look at this. We do have a lot of audio listeners that aren't seeing the visuals. So, I mean, if you can paint the picture for them. Paint the picture. I mean, do you go Stare to YouTube. Stare into the sun yeah. and see what it does for you. You're looking at the hotness. I mean, what do I, I have to paint a picture after he says that? I mean, come on. <laughs> That's what it is. I mean, T to B, look at me. Top to bottom. Come on. Look at the hotness. What? They just did. They just did. You missed them. You missed them. You yeah, you're, some, yeah, you're making some friends outside, yeah, it looks some like. creeps. Oh, uh, oh here, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's, on. What's We're happening? gaining some fans. What's happening here? I think they went. I think they left. Huh? I think they're gone. Who wants it? Who wants to take a look at the hotness? We are putting it on the glass. On the glass. I think you might have scared them off. You might have. It's a bit intimidating. 
I wouldn't blame him. I am a beast. Don't blame him. Well, Troy, of course, you'll be at uh, uh, September 11th at Rise. And yes, uh, so we're looking for dates for 3RW and Fight Underground coming up. They're on the horizon. They're on the horizon, so stay tuned for those. And uh, where can people follow uh, what's going on with you? Um, you can go uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Um, I hate I hate wrestling internet, wrestling Twitter. So I, I can't even think of the handles. It's the friggin' worst. Absolutely hate it. So some, I hate uh, some all high, the high quality going on over there. I hate all the young talent that lives on the internet, <clears throat> that die by the internet. Um, yeah. So, so man. what's the biggest drawback you think for the young talent investing so much on the internet persona? Uh, I mean, there's there's pluses and minuses. Mm -hmm. um, you look at people that have basically have been made off the internet. Um, I'll go with Dan Housen, uh, Warhoss, F.A. I mean, F.A., we got heat because he's, uh, he has the purple spike jacket that I was going to get off of eBay, and he, got, he grabbed it first. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so that's where he is. Before we knew who he was. Uh, the jacket made him. Well, yeah. That could have been my spot. Yeah, I could have been in one of those this is dildo blender shoot. matches in GCW or whatever he does. Mm. But uh, I think that... There's so much that happens on the internet that could happen in the locker room. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of discussions that happen in front of the world. It'd be better if they happen in the locker room with the actual uh, people involved. That is kind of a separation because it, 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 it seems like a lot of the you know fans are getting in on the discussion of how locker rooms are run, things like that. And that's, you know, you find out how a locker rooms run. Yeah, yeah. You you get trained. Mm -hmm. You pay the price. You pay your dues, and then you get in the locker room. Or these these kids, these marks for themselves can just go on Twitter and they could just tell you everything. These marks for themselves, who are in the locker room, could then go on Twitter and then talk to these other marks about what goes on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. I try to stay away from it as much as possible. Too. Don't <laughs> I, don't come in there. I don't. I don't. I just go do my thing. I'm doing my video. You thought thing. it was wild running and have pants on in here. You do not want to see... Yeah, uh, there's a lot of no pants. Uh, I've seen things. Uh, no, yeah. Um, oh no. Disclaimer. Yeah. Disclaimer. Uh, Rise Wrestling, uh, Fight Underground, uh, 3PW run very clean locker rooms from all the all the things that we do see on Twitter about locker rooms. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it. That's at that. good. I, well, I gotta say, anything you know, anytime I <laughs> anything that's become a problem, yeah, you know, I can say every locker room I work with now has been you know really really good, really well run. So, but I've, I've definitely seen some it's, interesting I've, things over the years. You've seen um, from starting uh, in 2001, starting in 2001, but really in locker rooms since maybe 98 or earlier, mm -hmm. uh, from just in getting involved in the Pittsburgh indie scene. It, it, it really has been a, a big change as far as uh, locker room culture. And um, I, you know, I do think it's all for the best, but. I was busting some balls about uh, Twitter and whatnot, but you know there are a lot of great talents coming up, and mm -hmm. it does expose a lot. I mean, a lot of people are learning about Lee as he's been getting out and about. Oh, it's great! Uh, you know, I mean, if it's been used the right way, and, and Lee's a smart guy well, that knows how Lee to do that. Lee definitely uses the right way. Lee mm -hmm. has created a brand. Mm -hmm. um, Ziggy has a brand of her own, but uh, I think we all sometimes. And this is weird coming from me. I think we need a little restraint in certain areas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, weird coming from you seems to be on brand, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, it gets weird that, you know, some kind of learn that, like, you just let a little too much in, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't we? Huh? Yeah. You can't live on, you, you just can't live on it. And now I feel like I'm uh, a five foot seven tarantula as I sit here and. Uh, we never thought we Barry. Be, yeah. Just dig the dirt on the <laughs> kids the these days. The cover generation, these friggin' kids. Get the Tell hell me about off them. my lawn. Well, we, we got some more commentary, uh, mostly about your wardrobe happening in the chat room right now. Oh, thank uh, you. First mm. of all, one, uh, yeah, and it's all for farms. Tell us, where, tell it, us where, where. It's all about, like, where where that hat come from? A nice uh, nice gator shirt you got going on there? That would be a Loki gator. Thank oh, you. Loki gator. Fantastic. How do you know he's a Loki? Well, he's green. Mm, okay. 
Uh, but Troy, John Roden's in there and says sunglasses indoors automatically means badass. Oh, John Roden. Talk about, I was talking about these up and counting talents. One guy that was really impressed in the uh, fight underground. I heard a lot about him in RWA. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, was I impressed when I saw him in fight underground and tell you about a guy that I like to hit in his freaking giant head. <laughs> man, he has a big punchable head. And I would love to just put my, remember when we were talking about, I can't really do much with this hand. I mean, stuff that I can't talk about no, yeah. on here. But oh my God, would I love to just dig this far into his head. See how far it can go in. I want to see what he's made of. And by that, I mean cracking his head open and literally seeing how he's made. Jeez. I want to really get in there. Maybe put the uh, skull ring on the other hand. Leave, leave mm. a nice little skull imprint on oh. his skull. I would it's a love skull within a skull. It. There you go. Um, also from it's here, uh, let's see, Tina also came back with, uh, the accessory ties, uh, the outfit together nicely. So, yeah, uh, I, I know, I know, I know how to dress. She's a, she's a, you know, I'm aware, Tina. Thank uh, you. Matt, I think you're back on, on, on the air here. So if you, you want to read your comment, uh, uh, I, I think you had an idea. Are you still back on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Um, what we need to do is, uh, we need to contact Effie, get him into town, bring the jacket. Hang it high above a ring somewhere. Get ourselves some ladders and make some money. Give ourselves some ladders. Give us a jacket. Um, 30 dildos uh, <laughs> strapped to a bunch of glass panes. I mean, let's really go all uh, out. Right? I mean, I worked for a promotion that had dildos involved for a while, and then there was had to be they had to be outlawed. So I mean, lube in a blender. Some on weapons are too match. dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they were. Hacksaw I mean, Jim Duggan. We'll call him up. See if we get that dildo blender. Let's oh. get it started. <laughs> So there you go. There's our big idea. They're talking about, you know, I've heard it go online. Book more tag matches, you cowards. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Book more dildo matches, you cowards. <laughs> Start it. Let's get it going. Get it going. Get it going. Get that all on your Twitter, Troy. We'll, we'll retweet it. No, I'm not tweeting anything. No? Okay. <laughs> so we'll put that YouTube clip out. Um, I'll tweet and it we'll, we'll put it on the Reddit that Matt has caught on fire since he knows the secret to that. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. No, yeah. Matt caught Reddit on fire. Again. Ask him if he wants to make the match. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Make it happen. So, Troy, always fun to have you here on the show. Uh, so, I never, never know what I'm going to get. So. Well, I think you have happens. an idea. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think yeah. you're into it. <laughs> you're, not, you're not booking the Troy Lord's Bible study. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Yeah, so. sweet mama Sorg's away, and look what he's up to. <laughs> Do I always book you when she's out of town? Is that yeah, what happens? Seems like it. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm oh. sure that's just a coincidence. Sweet Mama Sorg's away. I come in. He's like, "Hey, I got some old ass beer in the fridge. You, know? <laughs> mm. you want a party? Yeah, get pizza and old." Drinks. It is. It is. Please help me drink this beer. We're I ten just... minutes away from him busting out the amyl nitrate. So mm. the what poppers? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not down with this the lingo here. This is a party. This is a party. So. Uh,